Hello crafty friends, my name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl, and I'm here today with a project for Not Too Shabby. I'm going to be using one of this month's paper pads to create six cute, quick, and easy cards. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, Not Too Shabby puts out two brand new 6x6 collections for their paper pad club. This month, it has got me feeling like spring is finally on the way. We have Blooms of Spring, which has some big, bold florals, some smaller patterns to go with them, and also some great solids to match. The second pad is Beautiful Wings, and it is full of rainbows and butterflies, two of my favorites. It has great patterns, some coordinating more solids, and there's this sheet, which has different images with lines around it. I actually use my brother's scan and cut to kind of make my own ephemera for today's cards. I will have the paper pad club linked in that description box below. You can get a single month or you can go ahead and subscribe so you're insured new paper pads each month. As I get into the process, I will tell you about other products and tools I bring in. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. For my layout today, I'm going to be using the April 2023 sheet load of cards, which we will end up getting six cards from just two pieces of 6x6 paper. I will link the debut video if you would like to download this free printable in that description box below. I pre-chose two coordinating papers from the paper pad, and I took three of the pages with cut-aparts and cut those out on my brother's scan and cut. For my sentiment, I'm going to be using Hello Friend from the Bloom with Grace stamp set, and it was from a past not too shabby box. Then I got out my card stocks for matting and three pieces for my card bases. To cut my pattern papers and card stocks, I will be using page two of the printable, which is the cutting guides. Now I do have a full process video on my channel, and I will link that below. Here's a look at all of the cut pieces, including my card bases, and you'll notice that my sentiment pieces look a little bit different than the sketch. I ended up finding a die in my stash that would fit the sentiment I'm going to use, so I'm going to try this instead. Sheet load is always a great jumping off point for you to make it your own and use what you have. When you need multiple sentiments, a stamp positioner is always a good idea. So I got mine out along with the stamp set, some VersaFine Onyx Black, and a stick and stamp mat. Because these pieces are so small and I won't have room for the magnet and the sentiment, I can line these up with the grid on the mat, set up my stamp, and then I can just place it in that same place each time. I was able to quickly stamp all six sentiments in the place that I needed them. Even though I do have the full process video, I thought I would show you how a couple of the cards go together. I started by switching up the pattern, so I have one of each for the card fronts, and that smallest piece gets placed to the left of my blue cardstock mat, and the square gets placed to the right. Then these simply get adhered to the front of the card bases, and I try to center it as best as possible. I finished putting those together off screen and then it was time to decorate and I'm going to be doing that with the sentiments and with that die cut ephemera I made from the paper pad. 
Now, if the card has kind of the more plant on the right side and not the butterflies, I'm gonna be using the plant die cut and the smaller butterfly. I played around a little bit with the layout. I wanted my Hello Friend piece to stick off the right mat. So I had my plant or my flowers kind of stick off to the left. Those two pieces got adhered flat to the card base. And then for a little dimension, I did bring in some foam pieces and put that on the back of the butterflies. For the second layout, which has the butterfly paper to the right, I do basically the same thing with the sentiment, but this time I use the larger butterfly and I have it stick off the left and the top of the blue mat. It does get adhered with foam tape just like the first one. To finish the cards, I did add a little bling off screen. I had some clear glittered enamel dots and I added three to the front of each card. And here's a close up look at the finish set. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made these six cute, quick, and easy cards using the new Beautiful Wings paper pad from Not Too Shabby. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.